Hi everyone! So today's Saturday and I'm about to get Champ ready to take him for a lesson at um, an outdoor arena locally with Melanie. Um, I was going to take him to Mel's but he's really really well behaved in the indoor and I feel like I need to put myself out of my comfort zone and take him to an outdoor where he's going to be really distracted and potentially be a bit naughty. Hey mate! Um, so yeah, so Champ's kind of biggest um, downfall at the moment, well not downfall but um, weakness is that he's really easily distracted by things and he gets very overexcited when he sees other horses so we're gonna stop avoiding the situation and put myself in it and just try my best to be confident, ride the best I can and hopefully have a good time. So fingers crossed I'm not expecting too much we may have some issues we may not but I'm open-minded and let's see what he's like. This is the karma that Champ's on at the moment. It's made by Ekkermans. And I have to say, it is just brilliant. Like, I have tried put it, I put him on it after about 40 hours. I saw an immediate difference in him. And what made me really want to buy it was the fact it says money back guarantee. So I knew that if it didn't work, at least I hadn't, you know, wasted a load of money. So if any of you are having difficulties with overexcitable horses, I would really recommend this. I cannot say how good it is enough. It's just brilliant. Back! I think breakfast is definitely Champ's favourite meal of the day. Back! Back! Clever pony! He literally loves his breakfast. Hey mate. Whoa, you're rather orange. What's going on with the camera settings? He's a good boy. I'll let him chill out for a bit and then we'll let to clean my tack and then I'll get him ready. Mr. T. This is Dad's new boy, Tea Bag, as we call him. He's very muddy. He's very nosy whenever I do hay net. He's always good nosy. Aren't you? Hello, beautiful boy. And he nods his head all the time because he's a dude. <laughs> do you want a carrot? Yeah. Oh, you are me. Hello, should we get you ready? Oh, say hello to everyone. Good boy. In a good mood. Do you want a lick lick? No, he's just in a nip. No nipping. No nipping. So Champ's a bit wound up because two new horses just trotted past. This is definitely what we've got to work on. He literally thinks they're all going to be his best friend. <laughs> oh, hello, it's all right. They were very beautiful. They were very beautiful horses, yeah, but this is a bit ridiculous, isn't it? Yes, so I'm going to lunge him before I go on. Right. Oh, see, it's all right. Good boy. Hi everyone, so um, I thought I'd do a voiceover, um, which I wasn't planning on doing, which is why in the start of the vlog I wasn't really um, talking about doing one, but watching the videos back I thought it'd be a good way of me actually looking back on the lesson and seeing what was good, what was, wasn't so good. Um, I had to lunge him for about 20 minutes until he was a lot calmer, 
um, because when he came off the, the box he was extremely excited and as he's been a bit cheeky recently I just thought better safe than sorry um, and just I didn't put that much video of walking because it just gets a bit boring I didn't want it to be half an hour long but when I first got on him, he was a bit bored walking, so we got him into trot pretty soon, um, because that's when he can be misbehave if he's got too much time to think. Um, he was very, very tense at first in trot, so we did lots of walk to trot transitions. And I was just working on having a more consistent contact, because I've got the tendency to kind of give him the rein when he's pulling and chopping, like chomping at the bit and being fussy. Um, but Melanie, as she, Melanie says, you know, you've got to be consistent, not grey and he's given black and white um, signals. He's still very tense in the trot here and he actually felt really behind my leg and as you can see now he just drifts to the outside totally ignoring my left leg. Um, that's fine, he's a young horse, he's allowed to be a bit naughty sometimes. I just kept trying to correct him and be as even as possible in, in my contact and in my legs. His walk is actually a lot better than that usually when he's relaxed. He looks a bit choppy there. But yeah, he was just generally very, very like tense and uptight. Which is why I think we're going to stick with going out to hire some arenas rather than go to shows because we've got all this to work on. So that transition I thought was quite good. He came off my leg really well. But he's still really short through his neck, still very tense. And I'm... He's overbending to the inside, which is why he's drifting to the outside. Um, so I'm really trying to use my inside leg to outside hand, um, but he's completely ignoring me. So then popping to canter because Champ gets very bored in walk and trot. He loves cantering, as you can see. He's so expressive in his canter, but he's also actually he's quite weak in his canter, and he kind of masks that from his big, powerful back end. So. We did some transitions to try and get him to relax, and his trot all like felt immediately better, even after he'd had a canter. Um, still tense, another nice transition. Now, as you can see, I'm actually struggling to sit this. Like my natural instinct is to lean forward and get off his back, which is what I always do, which is the wrong thing because he's actually just like, okay, if I do, if I bounce around like that, she'll get off my back, and then. I can just do what I like, but we need to teach him to actually work properly. So many of us saying, sit on your bum, sit on your bum, and when he bucks, I just need to keep sitting on my bum rather than just getting into two-point position, which is my natural thing. Um, yeah, he's being a bit cheeky there, completely ignoring my aid, but I managed to get him going a lot better after that. I cut quite a lot of it out, because otherwise we'd be here all day. <laughs> but this feels a lot better. I'm being more free through my hips, whereas before I was very rigid. It's it's a lot harder to sit than it looks. Like I'm really need to. I'm trying to do lots of exercises at home to try and strengthen my core muscles. But that felt a lot better. And then, as you can see now, he's a lot more relaxed in the trot. Actually, starting to see a bit of a rhythm rather than just rushing. And he's slightly less fussy in the mouth. Still not great, but work in progress. And nice walk. And then he rushes back into trot because that's his. He just anticipates going forward. He just all this horse wants to do is keep going. So I changed the rein. Did a bit of the same trot walk or control on that left rein, and then got into canter. This is his weakest rein in canter at the moment. Um, he gets quite stiff and tense to his back because he just wants to bounce on the spot rather than actually move forward. Um, his natural canter is right uphill and bouncy and he doesn't like to like lower his head and stretch and relax which is obviously at his age is what he needs to do he doesn't need to be sitting around bouncing around like a kangaroo he loves being a kangaroo um so yeah we did pretty much the same on this rain as we did on the right but it was a lot harder work because he finds it much more difficult so i was having to really use my seat he broke back into trot but I'm not gonna cry about it that happens to young horses and the trot already feels 10 times better he's he's lengthening his neck and just the stride feels a lot less fixed and it's more relaxed and that feels a lot better he's relaxing more and then this canter feels a lot better and then he gets to find it a bit difficult so he fights me but i just support him a bit use my hips or try to because that's my my foible at the moment and this starts feeling a lot nicer there. That felt much better. I turned my head and said to Mal, that 
that was an instant change. He drew it lowered his head, um, worked through his back, and then I thought, leave it on a good note. Really good. And that trot feels so much better than it did at the beginning. So come back on the right rein. He decided this corner, he wanted to go into canter, which got a bit arsy about, but we just ignore it. I stayed on my berm, I didn't lean forward like I usually do and just give him the rein. So Mal being there really helped me with that because that's what I usually do, I just give him the rein. It's just like this awful habit I've got. So this trot's feeling much better. He's still quite fussy in the mouth, but as I say, we're gonna look into that and get it, get his teeth checked again. And then I gave him a little tap of the whip then, so he's just saying, um, go away, mum, thanks. Just because he felt a bit behind the leg. But this overall is feeling much better. And um, yeah, I feel like um, after about half an hour, of, you know, 40 minutes into the lesson, he really kind of relaxed and started feeling more supple and less tense, less interested in what was going on around him. And then this bit of trot felt really good as well it just and then he, he does get the occasion that oh I'm not sure whether I want to do what you're asking me to do but he's a stallion as well so he's allowed to be a bit opinionated and I was really pleased with um, the next bit of trot into the corner because I'm usually awful at corners I actually use my corner I was quite impressed with that and then he fights me again a bit but that's fine we're working on this so considering he's had lots of time off over the snow and really bad weather I was really over the moon with how he went and how he developed through the hour and that corner I was really pleased with it felt lovely as you can see I'm smiling going oh my god I rode a corner anyway so yeah we're gonna come back to walk and we left it at that as I felt like I'd really got a good tune out of him so yeah thank you for watching lunch Subway salad for me, polos for the boy. Hmm. Just waiting for the pop a pair to pay for the fuel. Yeah, he was a very good boy, all things considered, weren't you? Yes. Hey, Dad. Aww. Oh, no, beautiful boy. Oh, what a good oh, boy. Nice jammy dodge. <laughs> <laughs> I think he would. Oh. Boy.